as professional as ever. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, welcome to a video. I've. Uh, do you know, when you start a video with an iPhone and you're up to eight minutes and someone calls you, it immediately cuts the video off. So that's pretty annoying, isn't it? Um, that's what's just happened. So um, anyway, <laughs> I've been working a lot. Um, I think it was a, perhaps a month ago since my last video. Yeah, I've just been at work really, and how I got through it all, I'll never know. Um, but I, I did. And um, <clears throat> in February, I delved into my cellar, and I had 500 grams of loose uh, tobacco, tins that have been opened and not finished, and I'm down to this, which is about 100. And 50 grams so from 500 to 150 um, I've obviously saved money I've got a few bits here and there but money's been saved um, I've enjoyed smoking it all and uh, hmm and it's been very successful um, corn cob pipes I'm a big fan of cobs. I've got a few old ones. Um, but I'll tell you about an eBay uh, purchase which made a few people laugh. I went on eBay and cobs used to cost about £5. So I saw one for 4 50 and bought it. When it arrived, it was a mini corn cob. It was three inches by one and a half. It was like this. It was about that big. It looked ridiculous. And I thought, that's that's pointless I'll get rid of it Sam Gravestock said why don't you this is what he does takes it to work and has a five minute bowl um, while he's at work I thought that's a great idea I will do just that so I took this thing to work um, much to the amusement of colleagues I'm sat there smoking this mini cob which uh, was going okay and suddenly I'm trying to draw and nothing's coming through. What's happening? And I check the bowl and it's not cracked or, you know, pull out the stem and check the shank and turn it upside down and there's a huge hole in the bottom of the cob. <laughs> uh, that, that was a particularly difficult and trying day. So I threw the th just I can't be dealing with it, and I threw the thing away. Went on to eBay, um, smokeking.co.uk. I've got an eBay shop on eBay, so I picked up two of these legend cobs, which are beautifully made Missouri Meerschaum cobs, and they smoke perfectly. I'm a big fan of these. I I'm going to go as far as to say. These, this smokes as well as my Dunhill, my James Upshaw, uh, my Sheratons, Northern Briars, etc, etc. Aesthetically, perhaps not quite as nice as Briar, but for the smoke you get, and this was £5, two of them, it was about £11 for two. For the smoke you get, you really, really can't go wrong. So, um, yeah, you can actually dedicate a blend, and I've got some Presbyterian mixture in here. Mm. And um, perfect, absolutely perfect. Now, I bought the pouch of Presbyterian mixture. I went on to... Um, my smoking shop and the tins are gone where are the tins gone um, no one knows but now they have 40 gram pouches instead of 50 gram tins so I picked one up I thought I really hope it's not going the same way as Bell's Three Nuns which uh, in the UK we can't get the tins we have to make do with the pouches and the pouches are pretty horrible actually um, 
I tried it once and I haven't tried it since. It's a strange mixture. It's not the Curly's, but a strange, um, not a pleasant blend. So you, you buy it thinking you're getting the Curly's in, in like the tin and you're getting quite a horrible mixture. So anyway, that was my mini corn cob adventure and I've come out the other side with some new cobs which have been fantastic. So, um, tobacco wise, lots of odds and sods but I'm nearly there. As soon as I've finished that, I found this the other day. Um, I'm now, I should say it, I think it's Swedish. Um, now, excuse me if it's not, um, but definitely kind of Scandinavian area, if you like. Um, I believe this to be a good few years old, and I like Capstan very much. We get the blue over here, but we don't get the tinned um, gold. So when I finish this, I'll crack that. What else? The old sign. And I've still got some of this. This is now in the UK, um, Baker Street. So that's all ready to go. Um, sort this out quickly. I've got a little uh, box full of uh, tobacco, lighters, um, tampers, pipe cleaners. These are really handy. Um, that glaring light up there, I'm sorry about that. So these are really handy for um, just delving into. Um, mine's in the shed, that's where I smoke. Um, so yeah, very, very handy. Um, I haven't got much else to say dipping tobacco wise. Still on the stokers, winter green and mint. Here is my six ton hydraulic tobacco press, which I'll show you now. And uh, I'm going to start doing that again. There it is. Um, not a great view of it, but uh, you get the idea. It's a there's a hydraulic jack it's there, and you crank it down here, and it presses the tobacco down there. So that's what I'll be doing, I think, in the next few weeks with some of this odds and sods, and I'm going to make my own. Um, mixture again so there we are guys thanks for all your messages and sorry it's been a little bit of a a, a while but um, it's a monthly thing now I think at the moment and certainly in August I'm going to be really busy but appreciate everyone sending me messages and thank you for the kind words hope everyone's well you take it easy cheers